Women's quadruple skulls underway, four boat straight final in lane one. Top of the pitcher, Russia two in lane two. Below them, Ukraine. Russia one in lane number three and closest to us, Great Britain in lane number four with the four, uh, number four on their bows. Already though, just in the first 10 strokes, slightly down on the crew from Russia on their inside. Now, Great Britain have got a fantastic tradition in this event. Over the last two Olympiads, we've got two silver medals and fantastic, absolutely amazing races. But is this the crew to take us to Beijing and get that gold medal alongside me? Gillian Lindsay, herself an Olympic silver medalist. Gillian, we're going to be watching this crew develop really over the next four years. But uh, this is our first sight of them really this year, the first World Cup regatta. Opening impressions. Um, well, it's good to see them out there. Uh, last time we seen them was in Athens. And uh, I mean, what? Uh, there's some amount of horsepower in this boat. I mean, <laughs> Sarah Winkless, uh, second from your right. Uh, six foot four, Franz is six foot four, Catherine Grange a stroke in the boat. Uh, unusual to see Catherine in the stroke seat. Uh, she's six foot one. Rebecca Romero, I mean Rebecca's six foot and uh, to be the smallest in the boat at six foot tall is uh, just shows you the, the quality, the physique, the power behind every stroke in this boat. Um, the Russians alongside them, they're they're all contenders as well. Uh, they'll be they'll be out to sort of um, uh, suss out the form on this field today and uh, and it's a, already it's a pretty good race between these two crews so 500 down the first timing mark great britain get to it first great britain looking pretty comfortable now uh, and if we go as we go into the second 500 meters this is where we look the crews should i say look to really get into a good rhythm so they're not having to work too much for speed it's the rhythm that they generate down the boat both from the stroke back up to the bows left and right oh we just served there, Rebecca Romero caught her blade on the right-hand side, but recovered well, not lost too much ground there, still about five feet up, well recovered. See, the, um, the British women will want to get out as, and, and get as much lead as possible, because to be um, side by side in conditions like these, this is where, you know, mistakes are made. Um, it's very windy, we've said all morning how, um, how difficult, how tricky these conditions are. And uh, so, you know, we, we really need Catherine to be lifting this crew uh, a good length clear of Russia, which isn't happening at the minute. The Russians are real fighters when it comes to the quadruple skulls. And uh, it's going to, you know, it's just it's, it's unfolding into be a magnificent race here. And this is what they need. They, you know, they don't need to be um, having it easy because, that, you know, that, that's never good when it comes to world championships. You, you want to be known that you've, you've gone into it, having had Nine some really tough minutes. races under your belt. And uh, we're, we're seeing Nine some really good, um, good fighting spirit here from the British women. Half boat length up, as you can see. Again, the rhythm developing, getting good boat speed. They didn't really falter too much when Rebecca Romero caught her blade. And we can look, is that a good shot from behind? You can see how tight or otherwise the blade work is. And for an opening regatta of a new combination, they look OK. They're looking all right. Got to remember Catherine Granger at the stroke there uh, has come from rowing. So that sweep, that's one oar and has now got two. Uh, and that's now called sculling. And she's doing a fantastic job. In fact, she won the national trials in, in the single skull and has chosen to come into this quad. We're now moving into the third 500 metres, the closing stages the final of the women's quadruple skull. Great Britain had a slow first 10 strokes but recovered well, got into speed and have pretty much led most of the way. They're being pushed hard though from the crew inside them. Russia won in lane number three. There are four boats in this final but only two really in contention for the gold medal. Great Britain closest to us and Russia number one. The first boat, they Russia got two boats. Uh, just to uh, clarify that in this uh, in this final, but the second boat is to your left of your picture and well out of shot. You know, these girls just have to get to the last 500 because they know when they get to the last 500, for once we're in a home crowd and they know that it's just going to lift them. And, you know, I, I guess they're just waiting to get to that mark and then really start to crank it up. And I'm sure we'll see, well, I'm hoping that we'll see a good, le a good amount of clear water come in that last 500 metres. But this is great. Their boat is moving in these conditions. Their boat is really moving every stroke and uh, Catherine's setting a fabulous rhythm there. Gillian, they look as though that everything is under control. They're just sitting there and they know they've got it under control. If they need to move, we will move, but let's just keep uh, an eye on the right and watch the Russians, let them do all the, they, all the chasing as it, as it is. And uh, when we want to move, we can just apply a bit more power, squeeze out the finishes and the bows will just lift up. But perhaps we'll see that now as we come to the final timing mark. It's 1,500 metres down. 
There's 500 metres to go. The final of the women's quadruple skull is the opening World Cup regatta, the Bearing Point Rowing Series, as we head towards the World Championships in Gifu in Japan later this year, and a good start so far. Do you know, I have to disagree with you completely, Gary. I don't think they'll be sitting back and relaxing and taking it easy and, and being in control of this race. You know, they, they, they want to, to beat Russia by as much as they possibly can. So when something's done well, it's made to look easy. And this is what's happening here. Is they, yeah, they are in control of the race more than they were off the 250, off the 500 metre mark. But every single stroke that they're doing right now, the British women will be hurting like anything. They're going to have to move, Jillian, you're right. They're going to have to move because in lane at number three, just hunting them down, watch the bows of the Russian crew creeping up. But from the outside, I mean, you got you know these guys better than I do. You know, you've rode with them all, you've trained with them, you've raced with them. They, they, it's kind of you feel like let's go, let's go a little bit earlier because you don't have to get yourself into these kind of situations which is now developing because they're going to hear the roar of the crowd. That's also going to lift the Russian boat. The Russians will know that Great Britain haven't slipped away from them as perhaps they thought they might. Here come the Russians, as we said. That's it. It's almost like, you know, you, you picture Steve Redgrave and Matthew Pinson and they shorten up and the rate comes really, really high. This is what they need to do. They need to drop the length to about three-quarter slide and then just crank it up and get the legs on, drive the legs in the quad. Closing last few strokes then of the final of the women's quadruple skull and Great Britain will hold on. It's so, so close. Russia pushed them hard in the final 250 metres, but Great Britain opened their 2005 World Cup account with a gold medal, a good gold medal. They had us on the edge of our seats just for that last 500 metres, whether the Russians would come through, but they held it out. Their heads are high. It's a good start have to remember that the reigning Olympic champions are not here. Germany haven't come along to the Shugata. At some point in the season, we'll meet them and then we can get a true picture of how this quad is really going. So you can just see the little deep breath from everybody. Heads down from uh, Rebecca Romero in the bow seat. A little mistake in the early part there, but recovered very well. And we're just waiting now 